Scientists are keeping a close eye on Hawaii's Kilauea volcano and the levels of molten rock deep inside. Experts warn more destructive lava flows could soon hit the Big Island. Fifteen large fissures have opened up since the volcano erupted eight days ago. Dozens of homes have been destroyed and thousands of people were forced to evacuate. We have our fair share of volcanoes here in California, but they are very different from the types of volcanoes in Hawaii and a lot more dangerous. As a matter of fact, the California Volcano Observatory has three in the highest risk category of very high threat. CBS 13's Lisa Meadows is in the newsroom tonight getting answers on what exactly that means. Lisa? Yes, Tony and Christina, there are 20 volcanic regions across the state of California, but only a few are active and cause a real threat. Most of the ones here in the West are explosive volcanoes. Northern California is no stranger to volcanoes, although it's been a while since one is blown. The last eruption in California was in um, 1915, Glasson Peak, and it had an, a, a series of explosive eruptions. And now with millions more people living in the danger zone, how catastrophic will it be when one erupts? If it decides to erupt big, it will catch the world's attention. Scientists have categorized three of our volcanoes as very high threat. Mount Shasta, Mount Lassen, and the Long Valley region near Mammoth Lakes. So what does that mean? It means these areas have a high population, lots of nearby infrastructure like dams, power plants, and a high volume of aircraft that fly in the area. All these potentially active volcanoes, there are hundreds, perhaps thousands of jumbo jets that that fly over these every day. The scale only examines potential damage, not timing. Geologists have a network of sensors to monitor volcanic activity, and many communities have disaster response plans in place. That's really the best thing that, that can be done, because we'll, there's no stopping a, a volcanic eruption once it, it starts. And eruptions like this may not be as far away as you think. It's very likely that sometime in the near future, perhaps even in our lifetimes, it will erupt again. Now, Mount Shasta actually erupts about every 300 years. So when it comes to that particular area, the last time that it did erupt was 1786, which means it's due coming up here within the next 68 years. Oh, good. We'll mark it on the calendar. My goodness. Lisa, thank you for that report. Very interesting.